Hello and welcome to today's League United news. There is quite a lot going on today, including some pretty big contract talks could, that could be huge for several days to come. Sorry, I'm falling off my words right now. I'm very tired, I'm still feeling a little bit ill. First up, however, subscribe. It's really nice having you around. Be much appreciated and I've got a few fun series coming up. Be nice if you could watch them. Anyway, Diving into it, Leeds United have had a huge blow in terms of their cup match with Chelsea in a couple of weeks' time. Leeds United have received a cut allocation for the Chelsea clash. They're getting fewer tickets in Stamford Bridge than they were expecting to. Ultimately, it means that Leeds United are expecting to see 5,366 away fans in the ground, which is fairly low compared to what it could be. I think off the top of my head it could hit 6,000, a little bit more than that, but apparently there were discussions between various authorities, Chelsea Football Club, the police, all sorts, saying that it is a high-risk fi fixture, therefore they don't hugely want to make many risks. That means having less people in the ground and ultimately playing it a little bit safer. Unsurprisingly, Stamford Bridge will not be a full stadium. Rarely is. Imagine having to watch that every single week. In addition to that, Glenn Kamara has broken the stats in the championship and made history. He's broken a championship record in that he is the first player to have 95% plus passing accuracy in seven consecutive games in the EFL championship. Now, on the face of it, this might not sound like too much. This might sound fairly small and sure, you've got some passes right, that's completely fine. But you need to consider the wider context. The number of football matches that have happened in the EFL Championship since its formation up to now, the number of teams, the number of players, the number of clubs that have been incredibly dominant, and Glenn Kamara is the first to do this? That's colossal. That tells me that we have so much control over our football matches that it's not even questionable anymore. We are holding the ball for entire games, not letting opponents come anywhere near it, and at best, they're going to get a set piece, they're going to get a counter-attack. I just feel quite good. It shows his value in midfield, and the fact that we are retaining control over rival clubs means that we are basically unquestioned in this division against most of the teams that we come up against. Now, on to the main story. Leeds United have engaged in huge contract talks that could massively change the path of the club this season and beyond. So, the general gist, and there is a lot more detail behind this, is that Daniel Farker is set for a contract renewal. This is being reported all over the shop by all sorts of websites, and for the most part, I trust a lot of them. They're the sites that sort of reported Glenn Kamara months before it happened, so I'm happy to roll with it. Reportedly, this is set to occur after promotion, with that being the one big clause in this whole renewal situation. Because although yeah, we might look good next season when we've got Daniel Farker and he's got a contract that goes that far. We're not going to want to give him a pay rise if we don't go up. I know that he's done really well, but we factored that in when we hired him initially. Promotion, completely different change of events. If we get promoted, then he'll get a new contract. And that works for me. That shows that there is a clear intent on the part of the 49ers. It shows there is a very strong incentive from club leadership to say, look, we want to go up, you want to go up, let's make it happen, but you need to go up in order to prove it. And I like it. And say it quietly, because let's be honest, we're a club that is very, very good at cursing ourselves a lot of the time. And it's pushed fan after fan after fan into therapy. I think we might go up this season. I don't know how audible that was, but I do think we'll go up this season. I think we're better than so many of the clubs, not only around us, but at the bottom of the league. We'd do quite well in the Premier League as we are right now, I think. I don't think we'd be relegated. We'd be better than the dross at the bottom of that league. I'd feel okay, right? I think, ultimately, we're going to go up. And I reckon Daniel Farker will get that contract renewal. Because he has got the club in a position where they are comfortably winning games. A lot of them aren't even close. A lot of them are just... We will have the ball for the entire thing. Shot, 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 shot. Three of them will go in. That's all we need to happen. That might just be the optimist in me, but I'm going to roll with it. Anyway, sorry that this video was a little bit sporadic because I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather. I just had to see what news was out there and chuck it out. 
yeah, hope you enjoyed. Like if you did, comment if you have any strong opinions on whether or not you like Daniel Farker, whether or not you think this is real content. I'm looking at you, that one guy in the comment section. Uh, subscribe, and I will see you later. And for the people that stick around for this bit afterwards, should I do, like, a series on fun bits of Legion United history? Because I saw a story the other day. I want to know what you think. See you later.